this is Michelle and I. This is the astrological update for Aries for the week starting the 17th of June. And it's another massive week in the skies with lots of challenges for our soul as we head towards a new soul order. We are being called upon to face our inner demons and deal with things that perhaps in the past we've brushed under the carpet. And even though you are warrior Aries, even you and me can sometimes try to avoid deep-rooted issues. Now, it all kicks off on the 18th with a grand cross. And not just any old grand cross, but no, a cardinal grand cross. And this cardinal grand cross is bringing up maybe some inner turmoil or conflict within yourself, connected to your family, your commitments, and also how you see yourself in the world or your career. If there's any area amongst those two things or any conflict, it could come to the surface. But it's up to you to open your soul up, open up your heart and deal with this with love and compassion. And most of all, compassion for yourself. Don't give yourself a hard time. You're much harder on yourself than people realize, my Aries friend. Now the sun is entering the position for you where it's time to focus and shine a light on your family, your home, all the things closest to you. But you are also feeling quite optimistic about that. And then we have a grand water air trine, which is showing you how to communicate in a new way, positively, honestly, and from your heart. And Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility, is making you look at your own responsibilities and also your mortality in some way. Not something you usually like to dwell on, but it's making you think about life, death and rebirth and what you really want to commit to. If you really thought about your life, not necessarily, you know, say, say for instance, your life ended in six months, a year, 10 years, 20 years. What do you want to do with your life? Every day is really, really precious. And this experience of the astrological sky is going to show you, going to highlight for you what you want to do and where you want to go. And you'll find it in your heart to make a solid commitment to the things that are really important to you. We then have a kite and we do know I love a kite. And we are asked and urged to think about our spirituality and our, why we're here and the reason that we're here and to fly over any things that have held us back in the past, any fear connected to family or career, it's time to go, do you know what? I'm gonna rise above the past and fly to a bright future, letting all of my inner turmoil go and having the belief and faith in what my soul tells me is important. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.